Hello. Hello. What's up? I'm Eric Corruption Thai. <laughs> and I'm Rona Thai. Welcome to day eight of the 2022 National Family Week celebration, BFF. Building, Building Forever, Forever families. families. It has been quite the week. We'd like to thank all of you guys for taking the time to join us this week. We have been receiving such wonderful feedback from you guys, and we are so happy that this week-long celebration has been a huge success dahil sa inyo. Yes, I agree. It has been such a delight seeing your posts and photos with your families. Sana napanood nyo ang lahat ng episodes natin simula day one. Pero kung sakaling hindi pa, don't worry, dahil ngayong gabi, we will look back at all the week 6 festivities. But that's not all. Ipapakita din namin ang mga magagandang yung pictures, comments, at posts. Diba every episode, we ask you to share something and tag us using the hashtags, hashtag Family Week 2022, hashtag Building Forever Families, and hashtag My Family, My BFF. Nagpost ka? Yes. Did you use the hashtags? Yes. Okay. Kasi nagpost nga din ako after every episode. At nag-heart react na nga din ako, di ba? Uh, di ko nakita <laughs> And I love you for it though. Uh, sige na. Let's start our recap of the week that was. Game. So last Sunday, we had our kickoff, which was through a devotional featuring the Philippines area presidency. It was a great start that set the tone of this week's festivities. We heard messages centered around self-reliance, missionary work, ministering, temple worship, and engaging in these worthwhile endeavors as a family though whose faith is centered on the Lord Jesus Christ. To remind us of their messages, panoorin natin ang video nito. We, as an area presidency, are grateful for the opportunity to join you as we highlight the family as the most integral unit in the church and in the community. Filipino Latter-day Saints were not spared from this impact on livelihood, but many families who put their trust in the Lord and apply the church teachings on self-reliance were saved from the harsh effects of the global health crisis. Ang inyong halimbawa ay nagpapatunay na kaya nating pagtagumpayan ang kahirapan at mabuti ang ating buhay kapag sinunod at pinamuhay natin ang Ibanghelyo ni Yeso Kristo. Kasama na ang pagsunod sa prinsipyo ng self-reliance. Pinapatotohanan ko na mabibiyaan tayo at ang ating pamilya kapag pinamuhay natin ang Ibanghelyo ni Yeso Kristo. Pati na ang prinsipyo ng According to President Russell M. Nelson, the purpose of the church is to bring the blessings of God to His children on both sides of the veil. Only in our temples do we receive the highest blessing that God has in store for His faithful children. I promise you that the Lord will bring the miracles He knows you need as you make sacrifices to serve and worship in His temples." End of quote. I am proud of to say that despite the pandemic, even with the temple closed, many Filipino Latter-day Saints worked hard to prepare for the temple by engaging in family history work. My dear brothers and sisters, I testify that, as we do, put our whole effort to understand our ancestors and doing the, this family history work. I know Heavenly Father will help you. Jesus Christ is our Savior. Because of Him, we can live forever together as a family. House of learning, house of faith, house of peace and prayer. We eagerly look forward to having eight operating temples in the Philippines. Can you imagine eight operating temples? What a glorious time that will be. But as Elder Renlund stated when he visited us last July, quote, as hard as it is to build a temple, it is harder to build a temple-ready people, close quote. 
I know it takes a lot of hard work and the painstaking but extremely rewarding process of preparing our brothers and sisters to go to the temple is so wonderfully illustrated by the experience of Brother Dindo Almagro and his family from Cebu. Brother Dindo always emphasized to the saints is to follow the example of Jesus Christ and to enter the temple. Quote, the ultimate purpose of all we teach is to unite parents and children in faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, that they are happy at home, sealed in an eternal marriage, linked to their generations and assured of exaltation in the presence of our Heavenly Father. I bear witness these things are true and wish you the most wonderful family week this coming week. God bless you. We love you. In the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I can often feel the Savior near when love is spoken here. And right after watching that, our viewers posted on their social media accounts how the words of the area presidency boosted their family's faith. Ang dami na inspire sa messages ng area presidency. Nagustuhan ko yung mga stories of faithful members which they highlighted. At nakakatawa ang positive feedback ng mga ka-BFF natin. Nakita ba ninyo yung mga posts nyo? Kung wala ang posts nyo, abangan nyo at baka later pa yan lalabas. Let's move on to day 2. BFF or Better Families Through Family Home Evening. Kung saan nakasama natin si Elder and Sister Bangeter as they join the multi-generational Latter-day Saints, Amistad, Lee, and Hover families. Panoorin natin ang highlights from that night. Magandang gabi, Amistad, and Lee. So good to see you. Welcome. Good evening, We could hear your singing clear out in front of your home. It was beautiful. We loved it. We heard you. Yes, yes, yes. This is Bangadar. Welcome to our home. Teach me all that I must do to live with him some. Kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa gabing ito na mayroon kaming family home evening. Papasalamat po kami sa aming mga pamilya. Well, great. We'll ask Paul to share a short lesson for all of us. Um, good evening. I, would, I have a short lesson prepared. I want to uh, talk about how we could develop a stronger faith, uh, create relationships with Jesus Christ. So. Eliza, I remembered something I learned from a recent, well, from a convert who was a stake president at the time I visited in his state. He had been converted to the church about 15 or 20 years earlier. And I heard him teach some new members of the church in his stake. And he made a suggestion that I have treasured ever since, and I think it'll be valuable to you. He said a new member of the church needs to make sure they have holy habits and righteous routines. When the children were young, we had what it's called high five. As soon as they wake up, they, they say their prayer, and then they make up their bed. Um, you know, they, they go to the bathroom and clean themselves, exercise a little bit, and read their scriptures. So those are our, our high five and one of the things that we, we love asking them. Yeah, I, I love how 
small and simple but deeply meaningful the righteous routines have been in the Amistad and Lee family, uh, it, it reminds me, you know, one very simple one that we had uh, was when our children were very young, we started a tradition of always saying, I love you, <laughs> before we would leave the room. Whoa. Before our children would leave the room. Not, love you, mom. Not just the house, a room. Yes. Whoa. Love you, mom and dad. So we lived in Davao, and they would go all the way to Cebu every month. They would spend um, that money, even though it's expensive, they would do all they can to make it to the temple. And I remember when, uh, when your mom was only seven years old, we started to have our uh, prayers, scripture. morning prayers, and then regular scripture study every morning. Well, we do have um, a game we'd like to do. Is that okay <laughs> if we play a game? Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Close to my Oh, uh, Alabam. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, time's up. Companion. Okay. Priesthood. Ironic. Oh, not Alabam, but. Erdineta. Say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Torture. That is torture. Yeah. Yeah, it is torture. Very good. Sorry. Okay. Oh, thank you. Tell us how it came. We will. We will share this one. Okay. It's really good. Ang galing talaga ng technology, no? Families who are far apart can still gather for family home evening. Nag-enjoy talaga kami sa episode na yan at nag-enjoy din kami sa mga comments ng mga posts ng mga ka-BFF natin at nakapanood. Here's what they have to say. I inspire ako sa mga amistads. I can imagine us having family home evening with legend and family. Uh, well, his family in a few years from yeah. not few years. Sorry, medyo matagal na about Gano 20 natin. years. <laughs> mga 20 years after a mission, di ba? Yeah. Na kasip yung timeline niya, no? That was we'll be playing fun and games with the grandchildren, di ba? Oh, imagine that. Grandchildren, pero careful. You're gonna make me cry. <laughs> Speaking of grandchildren, nakakatawa yung naging interview last Tuesday when 12-year-old Elijah interviewed his grandparents, President and Sister Cabrita of the Manila Temple. Pati yung insights ni Brother Manuel Papa, our area temple and family history advisor. Watch this video highlights to know more. We're learning about family history. Elijah, this is Lolo D's father. His name is Victorio De Leon Cabrito. Lolo's father? Yes. Lolo, could you tell me something about your father? Oh, sure. I learned a lot from him. And he taught me a principle that I will never forget in my life. And I, I apply I, I apply it to myself. Okay. The, uh, the principle of honesty. You know? And uh, I carry that in my life up to this day. You know? One of the best way the older generations can participate in family history, have a personal relationship and uh, communicate with their uh, children and grandchildren. I, I remember a story about grandfather Catalino. Probably he was, uh, he was that popular. The youth are very instrumental, valuable in extracting and getting those uh, memories and uh, great stories from the grandparents. The church developed that uh, uh, program, mm. Family History, Your family's Family Tree. This one. Okay. This is one of the best way wherein uh, families can get together 
uh, make uh, use of uh, the new technologies that will enable them to get started with their family history. I need help with this. Precious? You pray. Okay, I pray. Ask for Heavenly Father to help you. It takes a lot of work as mm. you research. So. Just simply ask somebody to help them. Especially when they're doing it uh, at home. Our members and family, or in the, the entire family, would be able to gather together wherein they could do family history and help one another. Now, when it comes to uh, church supported, dito na pumapasok yung organization na simbahan, yung mga consultants, yung mga priesthood uh, leaders na nagbibigay ng directions sa mga individuals and families for them to be able to discover yung, uh, and connect with their uh, ancestors. And firmly believe that doctrine is true, that families can really be together forever. But it is important that we do it now. Mga ka-BFF, meron na pa kayong Family Tree mobile app sa phone nyo? Since our episode last Tuesday, nag-download na, na ako at nag-install so I can upload photos and other stories about my family. Yun ang naging effect sa akin nung uh, episode natin on family history. Let's see how some of you guys responded to it. Talaga, how families from all over the country are getting into family history. Kasi nga naman, technology is making it easier even for kids to get started. Now, speaking of kids, I love watching little kids dance. We, we brought back the Family Week Dance Challenge, the um, updated theme song, Isang Piraso ng Langit. Ang ganda ng mga submissions, grabe. Shout out to the original singer Lani Misalucha and her grandniece sister Mikey Misalucha for their collaboration on the song. Let's watch some of the families who joined the dance challenge. Kung hindi naman naisama ang dance video niyo, please comment down below with the link para mapanood namin. Use the hashtags hashtag Family Week 2022, hashtag Building Forever Families, hashtag My Family My BFF. And of course, hashtag Family Week Dance Challenge. family enjoy doing and do it often create a lot of beautiful memories it could be singing together dancing together or even cooking and eating together 
That brings us to our BFF show last Wednesday, bonding families through their favorite food. We visited the home of elder and sister uh, Che of the area presidency, and they taught us how to make hamil, uh, maybe uh, hamil, hamil yes, please help me, hamil pajon, uh, or seafood pancake in our other case, and midnight ramen, which is so good. Yes, so good. They also shared wonderful parenting insights na siguradong magagamit natin sa ating families. Let's watch this. Hello everyone. Welcome to my home and happy family week. That's right, we forgot to say happy family week everybody. <laughs> happy. Sure, let's start cooking. Actually, it is we call chon. And pajan means uh, green onion john. And hamul pajan is seafood green onion john. Put this everything in. And I just. I'm sorry, my mother it. taught me that don't waste any food. So it's ready to eat. Mm. It's, uh, I must say, it's delicious because it's got all the ingredients. It's very mm. You can taste all of it. I love this, this mix. What are the other bonding activities that you guys have done? We love, you know, have some family trips. We just go and having a good time and singing in the car and everything we going there. Aww. Those are really, yes. really sweet mm -hmm. and great memories. I know that all Filipino people love ramen. I'm going to use in the ramen, but I'm going to put some other ingredients, not just the normal. Ramen. Yeah. So this is the, mm -hmm. the elder che mix. Yes. The herb, but the key is my own recipe is kimchi. kimchi. <laughs> now it's about you know eighty percent cooked. Mm -hmm. Then you take it up here. So your youngest also enjoys this. Oh, all of us. Yeah. Got it. Now, is there any special lesson that you remember giving your sons as they were growing up, or when they were kids? Was there ever a time that they were, one of them was being difficult? Our okay. family motto is <laughs> don't one. worry about take one. the behind. Just do the priorities first. Then I didn't tell them study more. Study Sorry. the scriptures and pray. Okay, you study and the scriptures. They get it. better grade. But oh yeah. <laughs> I want you to remember that uh, our uh, best recipe for our life for our spiritual food is the scriptures. So mm -hmm. don't forget to eat for your spirit. So when you get hungry, your body gets hungry, the spirit gets hungry too. Mm -hmm. So you need to feed your body and you need to feed your spirit. So please don't forget. Cooking and eating together is a great bondage. Cooking, it takes time or to put a lot of effort See how mothers loves you and she put the whole effort to make a delicious food for you and mm -hmm. for your health. And so let's appreciate my, you know, our mother. So mm -hmm. when you get up next morning, you know, this morning actually, and the first thing you go uh, hug mommy and then I love you, I appreciate you. That's how we make up this uh, great unity and love in the family. Mm -hmm. So I know that uh, Mike, make just ramen is not the, is all about or the family, but through the death, in a way, we can teach all many possible or some principle of the gospel in the family. Well, that's it. Enjoy Cheers. your meal time together, okay? Let's enjoy this meal. Thank okay. you. I just love Elder and Sister Che. Not to mention the food they made for us. Ay, sobrang sarap. Let's see how much you guys love that episode.
ganda ng itinuro ni Elder Che about using food to create bonding moments with your children. Kaya kahit gaano ako kabisi sa work, I will make it a point to have one-on-one -on -one time with you and Oh, I like that. Ako naman ang favorite ko was how Sister Che was willing to be the witch. I really love that part. Or the bad person who disciplined their young boys kasi daw, lagi naman siya sa bahay at mas may time siya to make it up to them. Um, kasi pag puro sermon and you scold your children endlessly, nako baka madepress sa mga bata. That's right, as we discussed, uh, bad cop, good cop, right? Yeah. So sa panahon pa namin uh, ngayon, fragile and vulnerable ang mga tao. Maraming nakakaroon ng mental health problems. Kaya nga, sobrang timely and relevant yung show natin last Thursday. Bolstering the family's health through forums. We focused on mental health and how families can work together to help someone struggling with anxiety and depression. Here are some of our favorite moments from that episode. A word of warning, our discussion tonight will be on mental health and emotional challenges such as depression, anxiety, and even suicide. So if you or someone you know is triggered, please know that there are resources in the community that can support you. Can you help us understand the difference between anxiety and, uh, and depression? Anxiety is a normal reaction to stress. So example, you're in an office, sasabihin sa'yo, you have to do this. Siyempre, doon na yung kaba mo. But there is that other one. We call that anxiety disorders. These anxiety disorders, there's no beginning. It just comes suddenly. When there is anxiety, ang na-activate yung ating sympathetic nervous system. Andun yung fight or flight. I-train natin ang mga minds natin na mag-think positive, ganyan. Deep breathing exercise. You have to deep breathe and then you elongate the exhalation. Yeah. And then there's this part of hold. Paano po mag-comfort ng taong may depression? Uh, a listening heart, a listening, you know, your listening ears will do. I experienced a, an emotional challenge. Uh, I felt like I was restricted of my capacity to uh, fully uh, function. Marami akong uh, gustong i-share na payo sa mga taong who are also experiencing the same. Sana experience ko sa naging experience ko. Una, um, let's exercise our faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Pangalawa, practice self-care. Third, our challenges, our trials are consecrated for our gain. Meron tayong app sa Gospel Library where they can find yung life Life help helps. Na meron yeah. doon about yung sa mental health. And then, buksa mo lang yun. And then, yeah. can find all the, the answers. Alam mo, napaka-importante doon yung ma-develop mo yung maging very kind ka sa kanila. Mag-show ka ng compassion. Yung challenges natin sa buhay ay part yun ng refiner's fire natin. And I believe, um, will yun ng Panginoon na mangyari sa akin. Because I believe that I'm worth refining. Um, there are um, facilities in the government that offer na free free services, free meds. Yung pagtutulungan natin sa ating kapwa at pakikipag-connection sa mga kapatid natin uh, ano man ang kanilang antas sa buhay will strengthen us and help us. A. Adapting to emotional challenges with courage and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. H. Helping ourselves and others. That's self-care. You know, making sure that our life is balanced. And then A. That's asking for help. Just like what Rona did. Asking for help. We have families and friends we have church leaders, we have the mental health professionals who can help us. So what is emotional resilience? That is very um, wonderful part of maintaining a good mental health. So emotional resilience is aha. I wish to speak to those who suffer from some form of mental illness or emotional disorder. Though we may feel we are like a broken vessel, we must remember that vessel is in the hands of the divine potter. While God is at work making those repairs, the rest of us can help by being merciful, non-judgmental, and kind.
May we live by faith, hold fast to hope, and show compassion one of another. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Being able to talk about my own struggles was so liberating. And I hope that discussion encouraged those with the same struggles to reach out and ask for help. At sana yung family members nila ay matutulungan din sila. Silipin natin how you guys responded to that episode. time it's BFF befriending a fresh face we're going to meet with the freshest and newest member of the Philippines area presidency see elder Carlos G Revillo jr. alongside with his wife sister Marites Revillo we'll be asking them lots of really interesting questions kagaya ng how did you grow up in the gospel paano sila nakita anong advice nila sa parents o sa other parents. Mm. And, and ano ba ang sekreto nila bilang husband and wife kaya strong and companionship nila. Yan! Pasabugin natin ang episode na ito with great advice and stories from the Revillios. Good morning, Good morning! Good morning. Come Good in, morning. come in. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you for welcoming us. Good morning po, sister. Is it okay if we ask you a few questions also? Sure. Come on. Actually, the month of our anniversary, September. So it's been 33 years. Happy anniversary, bro. We have three daughters and a son. Uh, the first daughter's name is Janine. Actually, full name is Janine Marie. The second daughter is uh, Carl Main. Comes from Carlos Marie Janine. So Carl Main. And the third daughter is Rika Jamie. And the last one, uh, a son, it's Oliver. So we got his name Oliver and then his name Carl. So his name is Oliver Carl Reveal. I was uh, six years old when uh, my parents joined the church. That was in 1971 in uh, General Santos City, in Mindanao. It was all fun times. Uh, that's my, my childhood was very fun. We had a great family, I had very loving parents, and I went on a mission. I think that's where I truly found my own strong testimony of the gospel. Well, no una panahon na yon, uh, as you know, 70s, uh, the church was still very young. Wala masyadong organized activities, so... The activities of the youth today, aside from being well organized, it's very intentional and focused yung mga activities. Purpose and uh, in life and what's my divine nature. I wish I have understood what was my uh, divine origin and my divine uh, destiny more. I would go back again to, to the two great commandments. I think uh, trap three tips is love, love, love. Love God, love your family, and love others. And love comes in serving, serving God, serving your family, and serving others. To me, that's the definition of love. It's not just a feeling, but loving and putting God first, then putting our family next, and then others. And once we do that, I think we'll build forever eternal families. And I just wish every family to find joy and happiness as we celebrate uh, Family Week. And, and let's celebrate it together in our own families. And please know how much I love you. And the area presidency just wanted to express our love. Mahal na mahal namin kayo. And we want to celebrate with joy and happiness this, this Family Week. Maraming salamat po.
sabi nga ng isa sa favorite K-drama shows ng misis ko, It's okay not to be okay. Tama ba? Tama. Kasi if we work together as a family, seek professional help, and rely on the atoning sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ, we can overcome our mental and emotional problems. Thanks, Opa. <laughs> Ngayon, ipakita natin sa kanila ang highlights ng date natin kagabi. Yung outdoor movie night ng BFF, Best Family Flicks. We watched Love, Kennedy, a heartwarming movie written and directed by Latter-day Saint filmmaker T.C. Christensen. Ang saya-saya kasi ang dami pang ibang fun activities. Panoorin natin to. in a hole from all the fun we had last night. Like really, nakakamiss yung gathering ng ganun karaming Latter-day Saints just like the BFF Color Fun Run we had in 2019. And the movie reminded me that life is so short kaya we have to live and love like the Savior para maganda ang maiwan natin legacy sa ating friends and family. Tingnan natin how much our friends enjoyed their outdoor movie experience. <laughs> Napagod ako sa recap natin. Ang dami kasing nangyari this past week. Pero super enjoy and super fulfilling. Ang dami kasing magandang lessons na kapag sinunod natin ay siguradong magpapalakas sa ating families. If you've missed any of the episodes this week, don't worry kasi all the videos will stay published in the Facebook page, The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, Philippines. Please like and share this video and like and follow nyo rin ang Facebook page ng church. And if you want more ideas to help improve your family, just check out the online family resources of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and visit comeuntochrist.org. You can find us also on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And don't forget to follow us as well. Since this is our last day, <laughs> mag-comment kayo sa mga posts namin, ha? Huh? Binabasa namin yan, and as much as we can, we try to answer your questions or comments. At sakto, kasi right now, we need to reveal the 30 3030 winners. The best part talaga. Yes. Of our loot bags filled with exclusive BFF merch. Sila yung five winners every night na mabilis mag-selfie tuwing lumalabas yung BFF logo during the show. Yan ang pasabog natin in celebration of the 30th year of the Family Week celebration. Screenshot the list and check closely kung kasama kayo dyan. If you're among the lucky winners, expect a member of our team to contact you so we can get your details and send you your special prize.
at congratulations sa lahat ng nag-participate sa ating celebration kasi nakakatuwa makita mga responses ng mga ka-BFF natin from photos, videos, stories, and testimonies. You can feel how much they love their family. Salamat po sa inyo. Maraming maraming salamat talaga and a big thank you to all those who worked hard to make this celebration possible. The National Committee on the Filipino Family and the BFF production team, hats off to you all. <laughs> and before we forget, bukas pala is our celebration of Kainang Pamilya Mahalaga Day. When you share a meal after having family home evening, take a quick photo and post it online. Use the hashtag, hashtag Kain Tayo Together. At sana gawin natin, gawin ninyong habit ang kumain together as a family. Kasi kahit small things like that, including praying together, having family home evening, and going to church, when you do them consistently, it will help strengthen our families. I agree and I totally believe in that. So sabi nga nila, when it comes to your family, love is spelled T-I-M-E. Kaya sana hindi lang tuwing last week of September natin, gawing priority ang families natin, all year round, dapat laging bida ang family. And with that, we are bringing to a close our week-long celebration of the 2022 National Family Week. This has been your host, Rona Tai. And I am Eric Eruption Tai. Kami ang partners nyo, BFF. Building, Building Forever, Forever Families. families.